Title, The River of Dreams by Wisdom Chronicles. In the heart of rural India, where the sun pours its golden hue over lush green fields and meandering rivers, there lay a village untouched by the rapid pace of time. It was a world where the earth sang with the footsteps of the villagers, and the sky painted stories with its myriad of stars. This was the world of young Araf, a son of the soil, whose dreams were as vast as the fields that stretched beyond his sight. Arav was born in the era following India's hard-won independence, a time when the air was thick with the scent of freedom and the whispers of change. His village, nestled by the side of a gentle river, was a canvas of simple mud houses with thatched roofs and colourful local bazaars where the rhythm of life danced to an ancient tune. The villagers, draped in traditional saris and dhotis, were like threads intricately woven into the fabric of their land. They celebrated festivals with a fervour that echoed through the ages, and their lives were steeped in the rituals and teachings of Hindu and other regional religions. Arav, like the river that flowed through his village, was different. He was not content to follow the meandering course laid out by tradition. The national movement for progress had ignited a flame within him, a desire to see his village awaken to a new dawn. Yet, he was a child of the earth, deeply rooted in the traditions that coloured his world. His days were spent in the fields, under the relentless sun, where the hot winds whispered tales of distant lands and modern wonders. The monsoon rains brought respite, turning the world into a canvas of vibrant greens and blues. It was during these starlit nights, when the scent of rain-soaked earth filled the air, that Arav's dreams soared the highest. The river that sustained his village was a symbol of life. It was their provider, their healer and their guide. Yet, it was also a reminder of nature's fickle heart, swelling with the monsoon rains, sometimes nurturing, sometimes wrathful. Arav saw in it a metaphor for his own life, the constant balance between preserving the old and embracing the new. In the village, the rhythm of life continued as it had for generations. The sound of traditional music filled the air. The vibrant colours of local crafts brightened the markets, and the scent of spices lingered long after the sun had set. Arav was a part of this tapestry, yet he yearned to weave a different pattern. The gradual introduction of modern ideas and technologies was like a gentle breeze stirring the still waters of the village. Arav witnessed the first signs of change, a radio crackling with news from far-off places, a tractor in a neighbouring field, and stories of great cities where the sky was blotted out by buildings. These changes brought with them a clash of worlds. Arav's dreams of progress and education stood in stark contrast to the traditional agrarian lifestyle of his village. His desire to bring his community into a new era was met with a mix of curiosity, scepticism and at times open resistance. Yet Arav was undeterred. He knew that the soul of his village, like the river, could not remain static. It had to flow, embrace the new, yet retain its essence. Discussions about urbanization and industrialization were no longer distant echoes. They were knocking at the door of his world. The local flora and fauna, the mango trees under which elders shared tales, the peacocks that danced at the arrival of rain, and the cows that wandered freely, all were silent witnesses to the transformation that was unfolding. In this world of contrasts, Arav's journey was not just his own. It was the journey of every pebble in the river, every grain of sand in the fields, and every whisper of the wind. He worked with the tools of his forefathers, yet his eyes were set on the horizon, where new tools, new ideas awaited. The socio-economic fabric of the village, with its deep-rooted caste systems and social hierarchies, was another river for Arav to cross. His vision was not just for the land, but for its people, to bridge the divides, to sow the seeds of equality and understanding. 
As the seasons turned, Arav's dreams began to take root. A small school opened under the shade of a banyan tree, where the young and old alike could learn about the world beyond their fields. The Festival of Lights, once a celebration of tradition, became a symbol of enlightenment, both old and new. Arav's journey was a testament to the enduring spirit of his people. It was a reminder that progress does not mean forsaking one's roots, but nurturing them with new knowledge and wisdom. The river of dreams flowed on, sometimes meandering, sometimes rushing, but always moving towards a future where the past and present could coexist in harmony. In the village where time seemed to stand still, a new chapter was being written. A chapter where the fields were not just a source of sustenance, but a symbol of growth. Where the river was not just a giver of life, but a path to new destinations. And where the dreams of one young villager mirrored the hopes of an entire nation stepping into the light of a new era.